it's Wrestling Hero Figs. It's custom weekend, and we got to do Ultimate Edition. We also have to take care of the new AEW. Well, those actually have already been addressed, and we got a huge pile in here as well. And a couple of Chase Rigs. Well, this one is the Legends, which is we already reviewed, but ended up picking up a second one. Once we get further down in the pile, it'll make sense the reason as to why. Now, coming over here with the AEW, I want to show you a couple of things. I mean, this isn't really much that requires a lot of work. It's just part swapping with a lot of these characters. But I wanted to show you that most recent Cody Rhodes head scan on that UK exclusive that we picked up a few weeks ago. I really like the scan, you guys. Something about the Cody Rhodes scan, not just for this, but the whole upper torso on Kenny Omega. Man, I'm going to tell you. Okay, just a little quick prediction. I actually see this specific figure from Series 4 being a hot seller. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people not only want to address the ringside exclusive, but I'm sure the, the other ones that were released prior to this. So right here, some really nice additions within the upgrades and that goes the same for Matt Hardy now the jacket I just wanted to play it out I wanted to see how good that would have played out if they would have brought fabric instead of the rubber and I did like that one I just wanted to, you got to test the water man sometimes you got to see if stuff floats if it doesn't let's get into the most recent I think you guys might like this one now DWO if you are watching just know that I had ants in my pants but I couldn't wait <laughs> like when I talked to you about this about a couple weeks back my brain just started storming I saw this one custom that was was posted on Facebook group, which ended up using, I yes, it was the Rowan lower legs and then the Big Show upper half. So I brought them two together and then the boots. I don't know why the guy did this, but when he had posted his picture of his great Kali, he said that he had to adhere the boots onto the Rowan legs, but I didn't have to do that. I just heated it up popped it on i did a repaint of course because they were green and then i did a repaint on the big show to give it that darker skin tone now this is an official Mattel release on the head scan we never got the elite so i really wanted this and for anybody that's been following the channel lately you know that i'm working on this whole project right now with all the giants and this is only going to be that addition right there to carry him as the champ now that being said let's talk about edge because there's a couple of things i want to do one, I want to test that new torso because the one that we did do on the one prior was on, what was it, Jake the Snake Roberts. This was of that Target exclusive. If you go with any other one, it was a different torso, so that's not a good example. But I wanted to do it with the Cesaro torso, so I want to go ahead and swap that onto the most recent. And the other thing, too, that I want to do as well is get the chase right here. This one we never got out of the package. That one's also going to get swapped out with the remaining parts of what's left over with the Ultimate Edition. Now, the two-pack, this is probably one that you guys have been waiting on and one that I'm genuinely excited to show you. First thing off, is for the giant i'm gonna use this one this is the one that we were talking about the reason why i'm in the hunt for more big shows but we're gonna do the wcw in elite figure form with the most recent decade of domination and then nature boy he's also gonna get the elite conversion with that updated skin that you're seeing right here now for the undertaker it's gonna be two different gears one i kind of want to relive like kind of like the beginning of what we saw right here with the wwe network spotlight so this attire he has worn with the hair down, kind of like how you're seeing over here. This is more like early Attitude Era. This was the transition when he went from this look to that old school. I mean, first it was the gray, then it was the purple, and then it came over here. So the look still very much, much maintained the same, and then American Badass ended up rolling through. So we're going to do that with this, and then I also want to relive Survivor Series. I want to do Fake Undertaker versus Real Taker. We already did this one. I know the hair piece on that. We already discussed. That's all also been swapped out. So we're going to go ahead and have and go one on one check it out when this head scan comes over here it's gonna be the match right there that nobody ever wanted to see <laughs> but you know what wwe still gave it to us and one thing that w will actually you know what not wwe but mattel themselves is the knee pad not just on the decade of domination but also the first release which is the ringside exclusive this gear has been produced prior and even then they still didn't give us the knee pads so we're gonna bring a little bit of red over here we're gonna mix it in with some black once these two get plastic it over here you're gonna see exactly what we mean that being said i say we gather everybody up let's get the pile going let's get these two extra figures out of the package and get it going
Here we have both piles, and I did mean that because we got one with Taker, and then we also have with Agent. Of course, let's bring that custom back into frame because I'm sure some of you guys are curious, like scale. How is that going to put right there alongside whether it's Kane or even the Dead Man or right here? Let's start off with the Ultimate Edition because the torso. There's two different options that you could go about. We could do the original Origin, which was right here. You could either do like a Finn Balor, or if you want something that it's already pre-chest haired, you could definitely do with that Target exclusive. What was it? The Snake. Jake the Snake Robert, or you can go with Cesaro. Either of them work pretty good. I do like the Cesaro one, mainly do just how like the whole chest hair piece is, like the whole fading up top, and the head scan too. I think the mixture of it all. I also did swap out the lower, like from the bicep, or sorry, from the forearms down, so that way I can still keep the wrist tape the same as well as the tights, and I think both of them are working well. And as far as the remaining parts right there, on the Ultimate Edition and the hair swap, I think you guys are going to dig this. Check this out. Hold on. We need to bring this whole head swap conversion into frame because this is how it was right we had the hair piece coming all the way out now that we have it down and this use this is using from his very first or the most recent elite series 83 or was it yes this one right here so just swap that out and i put the screaming scan and i think that fits pretty good i had to pull it off right there from the sides it is sitting a little bit funny more on this side i was definitely having some issues with all that aligning properly but i do like the overall look that with the combination also of the updated torso on the chase figure i haven't seen a chase quite like this and i am really really liking it that and the other thing too that i wanted to mention the same thing that i did with the forearms that also had to get swapped out in order to carry the black strap and then just something for fun i you know, obviously this is something that we could do, but I just put the old arms. So like getting into that summer season, that's the way that Edge wanted to roll, man. All four of them looking really solid. Now for Kane, this is looking sick. This is how we should have gotten it. Obviously, there are some things that you could also go. Because one thing that I noticed, like some of the images that I uh, looked up on Google, a lot of the flare that was black across like the whole red uh, knee pad, it was all flared and scattered. So you could either paint that or... Or you can just add one more band and kind of give it that look that he had. And again, this is something that should have already came out the gate. So the fact that we had to do this makes no sense. Undertaker coming up next. Now we can have that match, you guys. Here it is. I think it was Survivor Series right there, the rivalry. We had both, man. Who was the fake Kane? Who was the fake Undertaker? Wait, there was no fake Kane. You're talking about Taker. And there they are alongside. So not this one that I wanted to show you. But there it is with the brand new Legend Series 9. And how do you guys feel about it? Drop a like if this is something that could also be developed along the way in a future release because we never got the fake sting so i think having a fake undertaker that would really execute that as well as an early attitude era one match that i would say would be the best right there more suiting would be stone cold steve austin the whole transition as to who was going to be the champion and who was also going to be the face moving forward so early attitude era and of course the fake obviously you could reuse maybe like you could use like an actual cane figure and retool it and then add the hair piece if you were to go about it that way one thing i would definitely suggest is going with the drew mcintyre hair piece the one that's got the hair dripping all the way down that would be more ideal for that situation we might attempt that in a future video so again turn on that notification out that battle pack it is done up we are ready if you guys missed out right here on the very first release because this is the only other time that we have seen the giant in elite figure form all you got to do Decade of Domination, your number one stunner, hitting the Nature Boy with that sweet two-pack. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Both of them are looking really clean. Look at that. How we should have gotten them, how Mattel gave it to us, and how do we like it? Well, here, fakes. We enjoy it, man. That's why we came over here. We wanted to see what the great Kali, we wanted to check out what Undertaker, whether it was a fake one, the real one, or the Big Red Machine, or how about this, you guys? Ultimate Edition Party going down right now, so you guys got to come join us man if you guys are joining for the first time of course hit that subscribe button don't end up like these tools man all these fodder parts you ain't trying to be no nature bake and we ain't trying to be well actually you know what put that one on the side undertaker what the hell is going on and them ae dubs oh it's always here on the regular i want to thank you guys for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one whoa